Hello everyone, in this video we have solved a nice math problem which is square root a plus square root v is equal to 10 square root a v is equal to 10 we will find out what is the value of a and v in this math olympiad question so this is our first equation and this is our second equation so solution, our first equation it will be square root a plus square root v is equal to 10 this is our first equation now i use both sides whole square so square root a plus square root v and whole to the power 2 is equal to and here is 10 to the power 2 i use both sides whole square then we know that a plus v whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus v square according to this formula i consider this expression it will be square root a whole to the power 2 plus square root v whole to the power 2 plus 2ab a is square root a and v is square root v and square root 10 to the power 2 it will be 100 now at this moment i can say here a plus b square root is cancel and here is 2 square root a times b to be a b is equal to 100 now at this moment i consider this expression it will be a plus b two times and we know that square root a v will be 10 so i put this value here is equal to 100 now at this moment i consider here a plus v it will be 100 minus 20 2 times 10 it will be 20 if i move on this will in this side it will be negative 20. now here a plus v it will be 80 this is our third equation so we'll find out a plus v is equal to 80. now our second equation is square root a v is equal to 10. so if i take our second equation i can easily our second equation it will be square root a b is equal to 10. then if i use both sides whole square then here square it will be square root cancel and here is a v is equal to 100 this is our fourth equation so we'll find out a plus v is equal to 80 and a v is equal to 100 now at this moment we'll find out the value of a and v now at this moment you can see our third equation it will be a plus v is equal to 80 this is our third equation now at this moment you can see here b is equal to 80 minus a it's okay we'll find out v is equal to 80 minus a now here our equation it will be a v is equal to 100 now we know that v it will be 80 minus a so i can say a times 80 minus a is equal to 100 now this 80 times a it will be 80 a minus a times a it will be a square is equal to 100 now you can see here is minus a square and here is positive 80 a minus 100 is equal to zero i move on this will in this side it will be negative now if i multiply both sides by negative one i can say this expression it will be a square minus 80 a plus 100 is equal to zero so we'll find out here is um a nice quadratic equation this equation it will be a square minus 80 a plus 100 is equal to zero now at this moment you can see easily here a is equal to 1 and v is equal to negative 80 and c is equal to 100 now here a it will be minus b plus minus square root v square minus 4 ac over 2a according to this formula i can see here a it will be minus minus b b is negative 80 and plus minus square root v square i mean negative 80 square minus 4 ac is 1 and c is 100 over 2a is 1 now you can see here a it will be positive 80 negative negative it will be positive plus minus square root it will be 6400 
minus 80 square and here is 400 4 times 100 it will be 400 2 times 1 it will be 2 now at this moment you can see easily here a it will be 80 plus minus square root 6000 6400 and 400 it will be 6000 over 2 then at this moment you can see easily here a it will be 80 plus minus square root you know that 400 times 15 it will be 6000 over 2 4 times 15 it will be 60 now at this moment i can see here a it will be 80 plus minus the square root 400 it will be 20 and then here is square root 15 over 2 then if i separate this fraction i can see here a is equal to 40 plus minus 20 divided by 2 it will be 10 square root 15 this is our value of a in this radical mass olympiad question now we know that here the b is equal to 80 minus a so i take this equation so v is equal to 80 minus a now you can see really here is a it will be 40 plus 10 square root 15 and a 40 minus 10 square root 15 so i take this below b is equal to 80 minus a b is equal to 80 minus a but first of all we are take positive value here so it will be 80 minus a a is 40 plus 10 square root 15 and here is b is equal to 80 minus and it will be 40 minus 10 square root 15 now at this moment you can see here 80 minus 40 minus 10 plus minus it will be minus square root 15 and b is equal to 80 minus 40 plus 10 square root 15 now minus minus it will be plus so you can see it is 40 minus 10 square root 15 and here is b is equal to 40 plus 10 square root 15 this is the value of b in this radical mass question now we are find out our final answer a b it will be a when a is equal to 14 plus 10 square root 15 this time b is equal to 10 minus 10 square root 15 sorry 14 minus 10 square root 15. when a is equal to 40 minus 10 square root 15 this time b is equal to 40 plus 10 square root 15 both are real solution it is no complex number it is a interesting math this is our final answer in this mass problem thank you all if you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care